And I'm going to provide a brief introduction to the power of uh, the configuration system. Um, uh, all the credit for this really goes to Brandon. There may be others, but um, I'm simply showing off his work. Um, uh, with, with the caveat that there are bugs in this right now, so you may see them as I do this, but bear, bear with us. Um, so right now, um, I'm going to close the implementer tools. This is just John Wilson's chart, um, and we're going to add two nav groups um, and um, some OBS by encounter widgets. Um, so to start with, I'm going to open up the implementer tools and I'm going to, this is actually what you'll normally see, but if you click on this, it opens up the JSON editor. I've already created a config file and we'll go through it here, but I'm just going to post it in. All right. And we'll go kind of line by line through this. So um, within each app, um, assuming there is a configuration, there will be a magic word called the extension slots. And that's where a lot of the work that we'll need to do is. So first thing we'll do is on line four, um, we're going to um, add to the patient chart dashboard slot, which is unfortunately poorly named, but essentially that's the left nav. We're going to add two nav group extensions, um, two configurable nav group extensions. So we're going to add something. So the way that you do this is you take the name of the extension. So it's called nav group. You put a hashtag and then you give it a name. So this could be any name, it's just the thing that you'll use to refer to it within the configuration file. Um, so one we'll call HIV adult return, then the next we'll call NCD outpatient. Um, in the next line on line nine, you'll see this magic word called configure, and this is where we're going to configure these um, nav groups. So we're going to name the, the group, so it's nav group. Same name is up here, nav group, HIV adult return. Um, and then in order to do the configuration, this is provided by the app itself, but this is what you have to do. You say nav group, and then you give it a title and a slot name. So right now we said adult return, which you can see here. Um, oh, I haven't. Um, So we're going to update it so that this way we have it. So now you'll see that there's these nav groups. All right. Now we're going to make a few changes just so you can see how this works. So instead of calling this HIV adult return, we're just going to call it HIV adult care. And then we gave it a slot name, HIV nav group slot, which is important because we're going to refer to that downstream. So now I've updated it and you'll see here that now it's called HIV adult care. Let me go back here. Um, we'll leave that the same. Now we created this slot that's associated with this group called the HIV nav group slot. And we're going to add a few existing dashboards. Presently, you can't, um, we, we don't have a way of doing configurable dashboards that work, work is forthcoming, but we're just going to basically use two dashboards that we already know exist. So the allergies and the appointments summary. So, um, we've already done this, but let's say I let's remove the appointments. Well, first, let's look here, and you'll see appointments is here and allergies is here. Um, we're going to go back to the tools, and we're going to just remove the appointments. Okay. So update, come back here. We'll see that now just the allergies is here. So the appointments has been removed. Um, I'm going to stop here. Um, just a quick recap. All we've done is created these nav groups, these configurable nav groups, and we've created two and we've added here. And the next one, we're going to actually create some widgets that go on the dashboards. Um, because Loom only has five minutes, that's why I'm stopping now. We'll do it in a separate video.